Okay, you guys, we are back over here in the kitchen on the kitchen table. And I'm looking at all of Mickey and Polly the Goat's products here. And she has a ton of different kinds. If you guys see, we have Peppermint Kissed and Marlo and Me. She has a lot of really cool names for these. Um, Lavender Love is one of them. Bergamot and Lime. Spruce It Up, which is one of my favorites. And Lavender Tea Tree. There are a bunch of different ones, but if you could, Mickey, step over here. And uh, actually, what, what is this here? This is a half log. And a half log? I don't advertise this on my website. You can call me personally if you'd be interested in this. This is for people who want it in bulk, and you can slice it off and use it as you choose. How many uh, bars of soap do you think you get out of here? Five or six bars. This is a two-pound log. Okay. And uh, what is what is all this brown stuff on here? This is beet powder. Beet. Beet powder. Okay. I put beet powder in um, my peppermint kist. Okay. And what is that for? Is that uh, what is that for? Actually, just to add a little speckle, little. Um, Add interest? Add interest. A little pizzazz? A little pizzazz there. Okay. People like to have speckles in their soap. <laughs> okay. Now what are... Uh, and so plus the properties of beet. It oh. always carries the properties of what it is that's in it. Okay. These here look like the ones that we just poured. What are these? This is actually a new... Um, what are these? Hotel bars? These are my sample size bars. Okay. And I do a lot of basket creations and I like to put the sample size bars in there because I can add more variety for your money. Okay. And a lot of people, travel size you might say. Travel size. A lot of size. people like these to travel with because they can carry a good quality soap wherever they go. Very cool. And this stuff here, I don't know if, I wish you guys could smell. Uh, this here is, what is this? Co um, this is grapefruit? My, this is my new scent. I haven't really formulated a name for it. I think I'm going to call it Sell You Light because it is made with grapefruit. It's got bergamot, patchouli, and a few other things in it. And it's geared towards skin toning, skin tightening, and to help with cellulite issues. I am smelling this right now, you guys. It smells exactly like I just cut a grapefruit in half. It smells so good. <laughs> And that's, that's what those blocks look like, huh? The ones that we just poured over there? The ones that we just poured are... Man, this that is, smells good. This is before they're cut up into the bars that go to the stores. Okay. And what do you have? You have, uh, what are these little creams back there? I also do for special orders. I have a dream, dream cream. And um, dream I cream. do these for special orders. And I also have a product called Body Goo which comes in a jar, which is a salve, and it's a, it's a really good multiple salve. I like to create things that, that will take care of several issues to make everything all right. <laughs> I'll tell you, everything, everything looks all right. There's one in here, you guys, that I used. Um, what was the one? It was, oh, Peppermint Kissed. This one right here, I don't know if you could see, it's got a little, it's got a little pink in it, and uh, this right here smells exactly like peppermint and it is cooling um, after you wash with it yeah invigorating cooling type of uh, feeling after you use it it's unbelievable and I mean it smells just like a, a peppermint stick it's it's unbelievable I've actually used a lot of these um, you can order them online that's how I get mine she mails them right to the house and uh, they're just unbelievable even like these ones here lime in the coconut is a really good one Smells just like lime and coconut. And uh, anybody that is interested in the utmost, I mean, you can't do anything more with soap than that. That's the bottom line right there. I, and I'm a connoisseur of everything. I'd like to consider myself. And that soap is off the hook. Thank you. It's very good. Thank and you. And I appreciate you showing me your process. And... Anything else you would like to say about your uh, soap right now? 30 seconds or less? Not right at the moment. Okay, we'll come back to you in a minute. I just wanted to show you guys. 
these are the finished products and uh, I mean the basic labeling and she's got her, uh, her ingredients and stuff they're barcoded because she sells them in stores all over the country but has still managed to make them in these tiny batches in her kitchen and Polly the goat is overworked because <laughs> Things are, it's popular these days. Polly is the main supplier, but she's not the only one. She's not the only one? don't want to burn Polly out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. Um, we will, uh, we're going to have a discussion, you guys. And that's about it. Robert Bankston here in the kitchen. I figured to give you guys a little, uh, that's crazy view, right? So um, I'm going to sit down with Mickey, just uh, discuss with her a little bit, BS a little bit, and... Uh, and that's it. We're going to clean up the kitchen, and we might be putting out another video today. Maybe not. If we do, watch out for it. And if we don't, go check out our website. It's www.thingsfromhome. No, things thingsfromhomeinc.com. Check it out, you guys. They have a really cool song on there, too. Go check it out. Bye.